Long Branch, New Jersey resident Allison Silver recently turned in her first puppy that she raised for Canine Companions for Independence at the May 2012 graduation ceremony in Islandia, New York. The organization provides trained assistance dogs for persons with disabilities other than blindness. This is my first time, this is my first dog, and uh, they actually came to me because I have an English Bulldog who's a therapy dog, so they liked the work that I did with her and asked me to raise Vince. He's definitely high energy in, in regards to an English Bulldog, so that was a big transition. Um, but overall, you see these growths that are really amazing, and especially the age at which you get them. You get them eight weeks, and you really start the disciplining and the and the uh, routining and everything, and, and the new commands and such. Uh, you know, you, you, to see them progress so quickly, it really is truly an, a remarkable thing. So these dogs are definitely bred well and, and, and are remarkable in, in their own sense. Canine Companions for Independence Northeast Regional Director Deborah Doherty says the need is growing for puppy raisers. We do have quite a, a population of puppy raisers in New Jersey we're very grateful for because we would not be able to do this without them. They take our puppies for 14 to 16 months. They raise them, socialize them, teach them house manners, basic obedience, and then give them back to us so we can finish their more advanced training at our facility for six more months and then match them with someone on our list and we would not be able to do that if, if it were not for our puppy raisers. And we always need more because our applicant list is now at about 100. And so that we're looking at about a year, year to a year and a half wait for a dog. In Islandia, Chris Kalar reporting.